we are going to be reading another entry from Things I Learned from Mario's Butt. Written by Laura Kate Dale and illustrated by Zach Flavin. And this is maybe the first entry that I've chosen that actually has a picture. Uh, not on purpose, just at random. There's actually, there's a lot of illustrations in this book. But we'll see what you guys like. Because today, we are going to be talking about that butt right there. That tiny little thing. We're talking about the butt of Sonic the Hedgehog. Him. Sonic the Hedgehog. If we know one thing about Sonic the Hedgehog, it's that he gotta go fast. That begs the question, is his butt designed for moving at speed? Is there a better butt type out there for our blue spiky friend? Well, when you look at good runner's butts, they tend to have a few key factors in common. They're lean, they're toned, and generally pretty small. They're a tiny package of powerful muscle designed purely to push the body to its limits. When we look at Sonic, allegedly the fastest thing alive when it comes to running on two legs, we see that his butt is so tiny, it has almost vanished. This is not a total lack of butt, oh far from it. In fact, Sonic's butt is so toned and dense that it has collapsed in on itself. Its own gravity has pulled it in and made it nearly invisible, which reduces drag and makes him more aerodynamic. If Sonic's butt was tiny due to lack of muscle, it wouldn't be able to properly support Sonic's top heavy design. So he must have to have a tiny butt, a, sorry, a tiny but incredibly powerful butt, the perfect butt for the one thing he wants to excel at. Those of us with visible butt cheeks can never dream of achieving such a lofty running goal. And that. What an anniversary gift. Thank you, Missing. That was Sonic the Hedgehog's butt. Does that count as rule 34? No, no, I don't think so. 